Hello, uh, my name is Vishal Rain. I would like to talk about extrude tool in this video. Extrude tool uh, generally uses curves to generate model. Uh, there are two types of curves which we will use in this tool. One is a profile curve and a path curve. This tool is uh, majorly used to create cables, wires, channels, um, uh, mostly basic, um, even some sort of you know tentacles or something like that so to start with uh, there are three styles in which you can generally extrude the model uh, one is uh, the distance uh, the flat and the tube so let's start with the distance method for that i'm taking a nerve circle and keeping everything to the default i'll extrude it so primarily we have the distance which is uh, one unit right now uh, we can extrude that length it's not distance sorry we can extrude that length to whatever units uh, you want it to be extruded and also we have the rotation where you can rotate the uh, model through the length of the extrusion um, generally in degrees and also we have scale value where you can scale uh, the extrusion through the length um, so if I basically pick a rotation value of 1000 and reduce the scale this is what you get sometimes even you can animate this let's say if I put a value of 0 rotation 0 scale 0 and key selected on frame number 1 extrusion length 10 a rotation value 1500 and then put the value like that and then key it and then you see you get this sort of uh, model there okay you can keyframe things and get wonderful results um, so defaultly the length is 10 rotation is 0 scale is 1 uh, the extrusion uh, is basically controlled by the curve itself the curve can be moved anywhere or you can rotate the curve if you wanted it to be so you can rotate the curve as well okay now once the curve is uh, rotated the model is getting rotated and that is because uh, the extrusion option profile normal option is on now in extrude you can see that here uh, profile normal if profile normal is off basically it means you are specifying a direction so once you have created if you switch off the profile normal automatically these three options start working now the extrusion is along the y direction so if i rotate the curve the curve is rotating and its orientation is getting affected but the length of the extrusion is in y axis you can choose the extrusion direction to x here and then if you rotate the curve orientation is affected but your curve is uh, so your geometry is in x-axis only so that is how this uh, distance tool work you can take any curve it can be either closed or a open curve or it can be of any shape generally uh, so the next thing is we have uh, flat and tube so flat is not much used so before going into that I'm going to CV curve tool and then I'm drawing a curve like that and then we have this curve here and this curve here so the first curve which I've selected is called profile curve and the second curve which I've selected is the path curve once that is done I'm going to choose the extrude tool and then change my uh, extrusion style to flat and uh, I'll choose the result position at path I'll talk about what is at profile and at path right now I'll keep it to at path and then give the result uh, to better understand this I will drastically change the orient I mean the shape so that um, you can see some sort of uh, effect or the the result can be seen much clearly um, so now let's choose uh, instead of flat let's choose to tube to better understand what is flat is about 
uh, one more thing um, the curve uh, has very less number of points here I'm going to reconstruct it by using this tool called rebuild and then use a 15 span curve and then um, extrude it again with the tube method now if you just choose uh, here uh, see carefully um, the cross section uh, is uh, pretty much flat uh, it means uh, generally at the turns um, it should have a sort of orientation to keep the volume of uh, the model but the volume is uh, getting lost here and it's wider here so uh, here whereas in tube uh, the orientation is respected um, that's uh, Uh, the tube versus uh, flat very purposefully I have kept this circle here and uh, this path here so let's call this as profile curve and this one as a path curve so select these two curves and then extrude uh, now we'll try to understand uh, the dis difference between at profile and at path so if I'm selecting result should be at profile so as this circle is the profile okay you get the result there okay for our comfort sake right now I'll choose the pivot point to component and try it once again so the result is at profile okay Now let's select the profile curve and the path curve. Now tell result should be at path. Now see the result, uh, the pipe model should be at path. Say at path. So you want the result to be at the profile or you want the result to be at path. You can tell that with this particular option. And uh, let's uh, take another scenario to understand the pivot point for that I am taking a circle and then put a series of uh, circles here like that and then So I'm selecting this all tubes. Maybe I'll just scale them. Uh, all circles. So all circles will be considered as the profile curves. Last one would be considered as the path curve. And then I just apply this result. Okay. Um, uh, once I need to just uh, freeze the values. freeze then select it mm. now you see um, the result position should be at profile and you see the uh, result here now select all the curves and this one now pivot point instead of closest end point I'll choose the component uh, if you see uh, here all circles they are individual circles but while they are extruded they collectively extruded and they took the turn respecting each other pipe there but here even though the circles are different the models extruded are extruded so that 
uh, once one model has been extruded you see the other model is also extruded respecting the path only okay so like that so the result came like this so a pivot point uh, is very important in this sort of scenarios Now, if you see the orientation, orientation is uh, orientation of the extrusion along the path and you see the result is not uh, satisfactory here. Whereas orientation of the extrusion with the profile normal has given me a pretty much volume tube there. So uh, I prefer whenever I create cables, my blind settings are like tube, head path, component and profile normal and extrude. This gives me a very decent result altogether. And lastly, we have uh, this option here called uh, curve range, which is a partial instead of complete will allow me to uh, use a part of the curve for the extrusion. So if I choose maximum value of sub curve two, uh, you get the part of the curve involved in the extrusion not only that we can animate these values so i go to the frame number one put the maximum value to zero right click on the channel choose key selected and then choose 50th frame put the value of one apply key selected in extrude i put the value of a zero in the scale and then see uh, what you get there A growing tentacle right or something creepy <laughs> 